Hello guys, today I will be going over dates and time in Python. Uh, the Python does, Python as a language does not have a data type for calculating dates and keeping track of them. Instead we have to use a module called date time to work with our date and time objects. Here's a quick example. So we import the date time module to a variable x we assign datetime.datetime.now to get our current time and then we print it. Then it prints out 2020 March 19th at 8.13 p.m. And yeah, it outputs the year, the month, the date, the hour, the minute, the second, and the microsecond. And let's see if you wanted to return the year and the name of the weekday. Here's a quick example of that. So if we want to print out the year, it's x.year, and if we want to print out the month, or rather the day, it's x.strafetime, which I will go over later, the strafe time function. Then it puts in an argument, and it's, in this case it's capital A, for the full weekday, and then let's print it out. So it gives out our year, as well as our day of recording this. To create a datetime object, we can use the datetime class constructor. So here's a quick example. So we say we want to create an object that has the information of the day, March 17, 2020. We use the datetime.datetime constructor. We put the information we want in, and then we print it. And that day of that month of that year is recorded in that instance of X. And the date time also takes parameters for the time and time zone. It can take hours, minutes, seconds, microseconds, and time zone. By default, they will be zero. Now, the strafe time method is one of the most useful methods in date time. You can, you can, you can take, you can put in an argument to format what type of data will be. It will be output. It takes one parameter, a format to format a return string. So here's an example to output the, the to out output the month so I put in a date 2018 June 1st so let's say I wanted to find out the month of that date we use capital B with the straight time function and it will output June and down here is the list of legal formats we can put in the straight time function so we have lowercase a for weekday so if I use lowercase a It'll just say fry, but if I use uppercase A, it will say Friday, the full name. It has W, it has D, B for the months, the dates. You guys can do these on your own. I just wanted to make this video as a quick reference. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something from this, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.